these are one of those products that when you see them, whether you're a guitar player or bass player, you go, of course, why didn't they do this a long time ago? These are the new Relentless pickups by DiMaggio. These were made for Billy Sheehan and designed with D Billy Sheehan. So long story short, Billy Sheehan has been with DiMaggio since the late 70s. And as you guys know, not only has he played with everybody from David Lee Roth to Mr. Big, he has, of course, a strange and very unique bass that he has from Yamaha. But during the years playing that same bass and working with pickup manufacturers, including DiMaggio, he had an idea. And the idea was what we've all talked about as bass players. When we want to use our thumb rest with the pickup, instead of having a thumb rest, you want to use your pickup. The nub, the thing that pops out of the P bass pickup right here, is not fun to put your finger against. So he asked if they would shorten it, which they did. So now your finger goes against the pickup. The other thing he did is he had the pickups radius. Basically, these pickups are radius to the fretboard. And why that's important is now you can use these pickups like a ramp. <laughs> If you guys haven't seen a ramp, there's a ton of uh, bass players that have used them for years. A ramp is essentially a thing that you insert on top of the bass and it lets your fingers ride right on top of it. Now you have essentially a ramp. And because these are two pieces, it doesn't matter what the radius is. You just adjust them accordingly, very easily, might I add. These install just like a normal P bass set. I was able to install these in five to six minutes. Uh, I think the average person who's never installed a P bass pickup in their life could probably install these in 15 to 20 minutes. So very easy, I promise. If you're looking for that first project, this is the way to go. The other thing that's really cool is they're designed to get right up on those strings, get heavy attack, but more importantly, give you tons of clarity. So when DiMaggio sent them out to me, I didn't know what to put them in. I was thinking about it and I came up with this idea. I bought this Squire mini bass. This is not a three quarter scale bass. This is a mini bass. This is the same size as a guitar, super short. And it's a Squire. I bought this bass off of Reverb for $179 from a store called Showtime Music. They were really cool, took really good care of me. I really appreciate that. They didn't know I was reviewing it or I was a YouTuber, but the bass came very prompt, set up great. They had their uh, their tech set it up, which I thought was a really nice thing for $179. This bass is six and a half pounds, and I wanted it to be the ultimate kind of travel bass. Or to be honest with you, I actually, when I do recording, I like a small bass like this, uh, whether it's three quarters or smaller, because it's nice to do some of the tricks and some of the things that you want to maybe pull off, play a different style of music. Let me show you, I didn't change anything else. So, so you know, stock volume, tone, everything is stock electronics, everything is stock on the instrument nothing was changed with the pickups let's get some sound samples of these things now i want to do some overlay uh, with it using a looper Thank you. 
the amount of tone that you can get out of a little bass by just upgrading some pickups is really impressive. But I think this actually, I think this is really just a sign of the pickups. Not only are they comfortable, do they look cool, but the sound is just fantastic. And I think if you're out there and you have a inexpensive bass and you want to upgrade it, I think this is a great way to go. And I think if you have a nice bass, I think I'm going to upgrade it. Um, the only thing I got to say about these pickups, and this is because there's a small chance that Larry DiMaggio might watch this video. I hope you guys seriously consider doing some J bass pickups with the same kind of concept. Not only the same pickup, but the same shaping, the contour. It would be absolutely fantastic. And I can tell you for sure, I would definitely switch all my basses to those pickups. Um, I mostly have jazz bass pickups, but man, I just, I'm in love with not only the way they sound, but the way they feel. And of course, the way they look, it's been, one of the coolest set of bass pickups I think I've tried. And uh, like I said, I reserve to say stuff like that so that it really seems like it mean, uh, you know, so it really has impact. <laughs> Before I go, I wanna let you know, I'm gonna leave a, a link to a great article in the description down below where Larry interviewed Billy. And not only is there great information about pickups, but you can really tell that they've been friends for a long time. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, Billy's been with DiMaggio since the late 70s. And so you can tell uh, these are people who are dedicated to improving uh, the, the gear that we use, musicians like us use to improve our lives. And they've definitely done it. Like I said, just, just the design change alone is cool, but the sound of these pickups is just off the charts. Very, very impressed. And like I said, this is a really cool, fun instrument for me. I don't plan to change anything about it. And as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. Till the next time, know your gear.